Hello, my name is Roy, and I'm in the third grade of Warlock. So, we could do questions 1, 5, 8, and 11. Okay, 50 plus 500 plus 10 plus 2. So, the easiest way to do it is add the two smallest numbers and then add the two the remaining numbers. So... 10 plus 2, that equals 12. 10 plus 2. 12. And then you just add 500 plus 12. Plus 12. And then it equals 512. This one is 512. 700 plus 20 plus 3, just add the smallest numbers. 20 plus 3 equals 23, and you add 700. And then it goes 3, 3, 2, 7, so it goes 723. 200 plus 2, just do 200 plus 2, 202, two, so 202. Uh, 40 plus 6, that equals 46, and then you add 200 to it. Okay, 6, 4, 2, that equals 246. We could do questions 1, 6, 13, and 8. Okay, 30 divided by 5, you put the second number in front, this the first number inside the box <coughs> then you see a five going to three which it doesn't and it goes into this position see if it goes in 30 now five does go to 36 times you multiply these two numbers 30 you subtract them if you get zero then this top answer is your answer okay 72 divided by 9. You do 9 divided by 72. Okay, um, 9 does not go into 7, so, and it goes to 72 8 times. You multiply these two numbers, then it equals 72. Subtract them. Oops. Oh my gosh. And if you guys... And if you get zero, then eight is the answer. Thirty divided by twelve, two, two divided by thirty, two. That's going to three, three one time. It's two times one equals two. Subtract one. You bring down to zero, and then two goes into ten five times. Two times five is ten. Subtract them. Zero, fifteen. Six divided by two. 2, actually I'll just write over here, 2 divided by 6, 2 does go to 6 3 times, 3 times 2 equals 6, subtract, 0, then equals 3. Multiplication. <laughs> 2 times 4 basically means 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, or 4 plus 4. Or you could do 4 times 2, if you die, equals 8. 8 times 5, basically means 5 plus 5 plus 8 times, or 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. Or you could do 8 times 5, and that equals 40. Yeah. Okay, 6 times 5. 6 times 5. When we multiply that, that goes 30, or you could do 6 plus 6 plus 6 5 times, or 5 plus 5 6 times. So that one equals 30. Okay, 11 times 8, 11 times 8, it's, you can multiply top to bottom, right to left, so 8 and 8, so it's 88. Okay, number 18. With whatever number you multiply by 1, it's always going to stay as that number. So, 8 times 1 equals 8. If you do, like, 
15 plus times 1, then equals going to equal 15. So this one is 8. Okay, word problems. Okay. Kai has 29 crayons. He breaks 7 of them and loses half of them, half of the remaining crayons. How many crayons has he had left? Okay, it says that he had 29 in total first. And then he breaks 7. So you're supposed to subtract 7. If you do it, it goes 22. Okay, and it says he loses half of the remaining crayons. So we're supposed to find the half of 22. So half means 2. So you have to divide it 22 by 2. And then 2 goes into... 2 goes into 2 one time. Times 2, 0. Bring down the 2. And then 2 goes into 2 one time again. 2, 0. Okay, that means the answer is 11. So your basis for extra space. Okay, and it goes. He has 11 crowns of re remaining. Okay, Lucas has 50 different books. 36 of them are red. Four of them are green and the rest are black. How many books are black? So it says that he has a total of 50 books. He has 30 total. Uh, red are, there are 36. And green, there are four. If we to find how many black ones he has, we have to add the red ones and the green ones to find how many are remaining. So we do 36 plus 4 and if you do that equals 40 and we have to subtract 50 from 40 it's 10 and which means that he has 10 black books. We can also check by doing um, we got by adding all of the numbers 36 plus 4 that equals 40 plus 10 then that equals 50 and it says that he has 50 books in total so he has 10 black books okay mark has 49 crayons he gets two from his friends and for his birthday he loses nine and gives away 15 how many paintings have left so it says that he had 49 in total and he gets two more from his friends on his birthday so we add two, which equals 51. Okay. And then it says he loses nine of them. So we have to subtract nine from 51. And if we do that, we have to do here is so borrow from here. 11. There's two. And then four to bring it down. He has 42 crayons left for that. And then it says that he gives away 15. So he has 42 right now. And then you just have to subtract 15 because he gives away 15. We borrow from here 12, 7, and then 3 minus 1, 2. So he has 27 crayons, I mean, pennies left.